Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here, and welcome back to another week of my Minecraft uh, plugin admin tutorial stuff. This is where I help you out with some plugins for Bucket or Spigot. They work interchangeably. I prefer Spigot because it has more high performance, but that's besides the point. We're going over PlotMe. As you can see, PlotMe is a multi-world public plots, private plots, great for public um, creative servers, lets you really manage stuff without any hands-on it's all puts it all in the play, the player's hands which is fantastic this has got a lot of information as well as some other video guides minecraft hosts that they have if you want check out the host that i use which is mc pro hosting link is in the description this is put out by zach bora it's a fantastic little plugin uh zoom avoid uses it on his server so just dropping some names but before we get into the actual game let's show you what the configuration file looks at like we're going to do this first i'm going to talk a little bit about you know uh multiverse and um world guard and are not necessary for running this you can actually man if you manually uh set the world to be this name it will work which is fine um i prefer using multiverse multiverse is great um and if you want to see that tutorial check back in my other video uh, the other thing that is kind of required, I, you know, it works easier with multiverse. So I would say that it is kind of required. Uh, the other thing that's needed is a permissions plugin so you can manage the permissions on it. I'll go over those nodes at the end. There's also some add-ons that you can use. If you use uh, world edit, it does work in conjunction with world edit and it'll only allow users to world edit their plots which is really cool it also works with dyn map which gives an overview like a website overview of everybody let's look at this configuration file this is what's created after you plop that uh, jar file in your plugins and this is where you can modify your plot size path width with plot uh, limit so it'll only make a thousand plots road height days to expiration so if they don't edit it it'll expire and reset their plot um this is just where you can set all how it looks all that stuff protected plots prevented items so they can't use i think some of these are lava stuff like that protected wall id all that stuff you can also i guess if you want to use the economy so you can buy and sell plots you probably need to use an economy plugin um probably need to use vault i'm not entirely certain i haven't seen anything that says that but i'd imagine it is because anything that uses an economy usually uses vault so you can set that to true you, people can sell uh, their plots that kind of stuff usually don't really uh don't really do that but there you go that is the configuration file this is an extremely easy plugin great job on making this it just kind of goes let's hop into let's hop into the uh, world and check it out i'll show you how to create your own world and here we are in our little tutorial world that i created actually it's a pretty cool world what is the seed on this one a uh, side note so yeah there's the seed if you want to play this you spawn right in this uh jungle which is pretty cool and let me uh, set it back to daytime that just works better so let's get into it all right the first thing you want to do is create your um your plot world uh world you need to have it the same name as the other the other um as what's in the configuration file so mv create plot world then we're going to do normal and then we got to do g and then plot me so there we go. So MVTP plot worlds. And here we are in the plot world. That's easy. See, easy as pie or easy as silk. I don't know. What did I say the other day? I said, yeah, easy as pie. That's what it is. Smooth as pie. Anyway, so this is all the settings that we set in there, the, wor the walls, the floors, that kind of stuff. And it just goes on forever. And um, I need to set my game mode back up because I didn't set bypass up. All right. Now, once you're in here, I'm going to go over the commands that you use real quick. Uh, just some of the basic ones. For for the start, though, the um, permission nodes, which will be on the screen. You know, I don't have to type them in. It's going to be plot me dot use is the general. Just give that to your, your general um, users. If you want to check out the per 
node permissions, if you really want to tweak the permissions, like give uh, only trusted members ability to claim plots um, or only to be able to sell, I don't know, whatever, it's up to you guys. Uh, that is, I'll link that in the description. The other one is plotme.admin. Obviously, that's what you give to your moderators or admins. The other one is plotme.limit. A number, and that will limit the number of plots that they can own, which would be handy if you want them only to own one or two. So let's go over some of the commands that you can do. The first one, and the most important, is plot me claim, and it'll claim whatever plot that you are, if you, that you're sitting in. So then you can do plot me home to get back to it, and it'll st put you right here. I'm gonna actually go into creative because this will go a lot easier and then we'll just do this the other thing that you can do is you could just do uh, plot me auto and it's just going to claim the next available lot so you see it claim the next one over there um, the and then you could do plot the home and then the number depending on the plot that you have and then if you want to see all the plots that you own plot me list and that will show you all of those. So then you could do plot me home one. Oops, does not have plot. How does that work? How does that work? Um, oh, here we go. One, there you go. You got to put the colon. That's how it goes. And is, is it getting dark already? Time set zero. Yeah, all right. The other thing is you can hop on one, and I think this is only available for admins, but you can do plot v info, and that'll tell you everything you need to know about that. Notice the expire date, that's seven days. That's how it goes. Then you could do um, another fun thing is plot me comment. This is available for everybody, and you can do hi, and then you can do then the you know if you want to say hey nice build or your build sucks or whatever and then you do plot me comments and then that will list all the comments that you have so far you can also then do plot me biome to see what biome it is you can also then do plot me uh, biome and then uh, you could set the biome plot me biome that's weird why did it change the <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with this. Okay. Yeah. So you can set the biome, which is pretty cool. And then if you want to see all the biomes available, you do plot me biome list. That's how it goes. And then you can set it to whatever you want. If you want to clear a plot, let's say I want to, this will this will clear it all the way back. We'll plot me clear. You know, maybe you just want to start all over, that kind of stuff. You can add other players to your plot. Plot me, add, and then the player name. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Or plot me, remove them. You can um, you can do a plot me, protect. So it can't be removed or cleared or reset or anything. So if other people can hop on here, they can't reset your plot. Oh, look at this. It tells you uh, the owner of the, the plot right there. It puts a sign up in the corner. That's pretty neat. I didn't know it did that. So the other thing you could do is you could do um, plot me sell. You could sell the plot. Let's see, what is that? Oh, but it's disabled. That's where you could do auction, sell, buy, dispose. Uh, I think dispose will remove you from it. Let's see. Yeah, so... Now anybody can claim this plot. Um, the other, so then like, um, I can't really show you much, but if I'm not op, I won't be able to edit any of these. Even if I'm in creative, I believe. Let me de-op myself. Now now I'm just playing right here for you guys. Now, uh, yeah, see, I'm in creative mode and uh, I can't even, I can't edit any of these except this so what you probably want to do is when you're creating the world is instead of doing normal you want to create a creative world um the other thing you could do the last bit of commands is plot me deny so you can deny a player so then it's player name from even entering your plot or and then you do undeny if you want to allow them back in your plot that's pretty much it there's for the admins they can do plot me claim they can claim plots for other players 
Uh, this is under the you know the dot admin permission nodes. You can do plot me ID, plot me reset. Um, it removes the owner, so that's like the plot me dispose. Only you do it for another person. You can uh, put a, an auction up, and it's pretty much you just put the user's name at the end of any of the commands that regular users can use, and it'll put that up. This is. <laughs> It's a fantastic plugin, and I can't believe I never used it on my public server. I probably will use it um, when I bring that server back. But uh, let's see. I think I went over everything I want to. I like to keep these tutorials short. It's a really simple plugin, easy to use. Check out the website. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe below. Uh, that helps me out, help me keep doing what I'm doing. If you want to see me do a different plugin, uh, feel free to, to uh, comment that below. I respond to those. If you have questions, I or I take those hints on like, hey, I need some help with this plugin, and I'll do a tutorial on it. This is what I like to do. I like to do it a lot. So this is Kaz from Mick Friends, and as always, enjoy the game. So here is my horse. Without further ado, here is Pony. Hey, Pony. Um, I did not come up with that completely on my own. That was uh, mainly uh, Doppelgamer.